a princess has given up royal life for a commoner, it sounds so romantic, Norwegian princess Martha Louise and her American fiancé Dark Verret look at each other with love, but not everyone supports these relationships. Why do a lot of people in Norway dislike this man? And why do they want the princess to give up her title? Keep watching to find out the whole dark truth about him. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Many royals throughout history had to marry not for love, but for convenience. But the times have changed. The current king of Norway, Harald, married a commoner years ago. They happily lived together and raised two children. Their son, Prince Hakon, will one day take the throne, and their daughter, Princess Martha Louise, is fourth in line to the throne and is unlikely to be queen. Therefore, she was allowed a lot in the family. She was an unusual child. While other girls dreamed of being princesses, Martha dreamed of living a normal life. She was burdened by royal duties and constant attention from people. To hide from this, she went into reading fairy tales and into her dream world. As an adult, Martha stated that since childhood she has seen angels and communicates with them. People thought she was joking, but she was serious about it. Martha received a good education in her youth. She became a certified physical therapist, but she never practiced her profession. Instead, she decided to create her own commercial project for the recitation of Norwegian folk tales. All her life was like a fairy tale. She was born a princess, grew up in a real palace and wore diamond tiaras for official events. But more than that, Martha created her own fairy tale world, where she could communicate with angels and the souls of dead people. A lot of citizens in Norway understood that she was a little weird, but she was forgiven for this, because she is unlikely to ever ascend the throne. At the age of 31, Martha decided to completely change her life. She fell in love with the Norwegian author Ari Ben. He achieved a great literary success and understood his beloved as no one else. Together they wrote a book about their wedding. Martha finally found a man who was ready to dive with her into her fabulous fantasy world. After the wedding, Princess Martha Louise decided to give up many royal duties. She started her own business, wrote a book for children, and opened her own alternative therapy center, named A Start Education, which offered a three-year course on healing, reading, and angels. Many people in Norway were skeptical of her work. Someone called on her to give up the title, and someone even questioned her mental health. But the princess ignored them. Finally, she felt needed and fulfilled. She went on living on her dream world. She had three daughters from this marriage. None of them have received the royal title. But Martha didn't need that. She dreamed of abandoning royal duties altogether and devoting herself to work. Years after waiting, the couple began to move away from each other. Ari Ben understood his wife less and less, and she felt unhappy with him. They divorced 14 years after their wedding, and three years later Ari Ben tragically passed away. This event was a big blow for Martha, breaking up with a loved one and losing him forever. But out of habit, she decided to go into the world of her dreams. In addition, a new man appeared in her life, who changed her fate forever. He makes me laugh more than anyone, she wrote, has the most profound wisdom to share and all the bits in between from the diversity of his being. I feel so happy and blessed that he is my boyfriend. I love you from this eternity to the next. This man is Derek Verrett, an American who calls himself a shaman and spiritual healer. 
who also believes in the afterlife and the transmigration of souls. Finally, Martha Louise met a man who believes that she really communicates with angels and the souls of the dead. It was as if they were made for each other and believed that in past lives they had already been husband and wife several times. The couple decided to go on a tour of the cities to conduct their spiritual seminars called The Princess and the Shaman. Martha looked incredibly happy next to this man and didn't pay attention to the criticism in the press at all. Meanwhile, people in Norway resented the fact that she used the royal title for commercial purposes. In the summer of 2022, the princess announced that she was engaged to Darek, and in November she claimed that she was resigning from her royal duties. She still retains the title of princess, but it hardly matters to her. The most important thing for the princess is happiness with her loved one. However, not all people like this couple. Martha and Darek started getting threats. In addition, the press published the unpleasant truth about him. Darek subscribes himself as a gifted healer and spiritual guide on his website, who can act as a bridge between the spiritual and physical planes. Today he has many followers, including celebrities such as Gwyneth Paltrow. He claims to be a sixth-generation shaman. Verrett has stated that he considers himself to be a hybrid species of reptilian and Andromeda. But many people don't believe him and consider him a con man, and all because he spreads absurd medical theories. For example, he stated that people get cancer because they want it and suggests that chemotherapy does not work and is only given to cancer patients because the doctors make money from it. Verit claims to have worked at a medical center in Israel, where he treated children for cancer using shamanistic methods, but the hospital denied that he had ever worked there. Experts call his views dangerous and ridiculous. They believe that he simply profits from naive people, as he takes a lot of money for consultations and sells magical amulets, which, according to him, will help not to get sick. The one-hour virtual private session with Varit costs $1,500. What's more, Darek had a dark past. He spent one year in prison as a young man after he had organized a party in an abandoned house that was set on fire. Many people in Norway believe that Princess Martha got engaged to a charlatan, therefore they are worried about her life, but Dirk claims that people are allegedly against this relationship just because of racism, but this is not true, people don't care about his skin color, they don't like his activities and his absurd statements. This union spoils the reputation of the royal family, so maybe it is better for the princess to give up the title? This man became more popular after starting a relationship with a Norwegian princess. Many people probably began to trust him more because his future wife is a royal family member. When Varet and Martha are married, he will join the royal family, but without an official title or role. The king, however, decided that the princess could keep her title, although she will refrain from using it in connection with her business activities. Princess Martha hardly cares about press coverage or her title. She looks madly in love and nothing matters to her. At 51, she continues to live in her world of fairy tales and dreams, to believe in angels and transmigration of souls. If this man is her true love, then we are happy for her, but what if he takes advantage of her popularity and gullibility? Do you believe this couple has a future? Thanks for watching, don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!